healthcare providers, we need to understand how NRT works. NRT stands for Nicotine Replacement Therapy, and it's a proven method for helping people to quit using tobacco products. It's also a very effective method, so we want to be sure that healthcare providers understand how it works and feel comfortable in explaining it to people trying to quit tobacco. When we look at tobacco, there's a couple of things that cause problems for people. First is that the nicotine itself is an addictive substance, and when people are used to using it, they really miss it if they stop using it and experience a lot of symptoms that we call withdrawal symptoms. There's also, unfortunately, about 7,000 other chemicals added to the tobacco products, and these are what cause the harmful, toxic effects. If someone does quit smoking, Within about 30 minutes of not using a tobacco product, whether it's smoking or chewing, they'll start to experience a decrease in the nicotine in their bloodstream and that can lead to withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms include craving another dose of the product, feeling very irritable or anxious or depressed, unable to focus, unable to sleep, maybe even having stomach issues such as upset stomach. These symptoms will peak at about one to two days and can last up to four weeks, which is a very long time when someone is trying to change a long-standing habit. The nicotine that's contained in the nicotine replacement products is clean. It only is nicotine, it doesn't have those 7,000 other chemicals. In Canada, we have several options available. We have gum and lozenges. We have patches available, a nicotine inhaler, and a brand new quick mist spray available for people to use. These products are all to be stored at room temperature before they are used so that they'll work properly. They also have to be kept out of the reach of children and pets. Some of them contain flavorings that might be attractive to those groups and they also still contain nicotine once a person is finished using them. So if you happen to not dispose of it in a safe manner, such as a tight sealed container, a child or a pet could get a hold of it and suffer some adverse consequences from it. Another important fact is people who experience significant allergic reactions to medications should be careful as they would with any medication. When we talk of serious allergic reactions, we're talking about things like throat swelling, difficulty breathing, swelling of the lips, and these people should talk to a healthcare provider before they use any of these products. We also have people who are concerned about using too much. How do I know if I'm getting too much nicotine? Nicotine toxicity is not really that common from using these products, although it would be possible. And the signs of that would include feeling irritable, having fast heartbeat, um, feeling very shaky, and you should immediately stop using the nicotine product and seek medical help as you would if you took too much of any medication. One of the important things to remember, as I mentioned, is that these products are effective. They've been shown to help a lot of people to quit smoking. Another useful piece of information is to be aware that we used to feel that people could only use these products if they had stopped using tobacco. We now know that these products are safe to be used alone or in combination if someone is trying to reduce the amount that they are currently using tobacco prior to completely quitting. So they can combine these products and continue to use tobacco products in a process of reducing until they are ready to quit completely.